might not be the biggest story of the day, but Madonna oh, is God. continuing her movie Why project with Julia Garner. Are you so hateful? I'm not hateful. I'm just you saying. You don't like Madonna's Instagram. I love Madonna's Instagram. If I had her stylist and her filters and her makeup artist and that setup, <laughs> I also would look like Sabrina Carpenter. But it says she's working on her movie. I'm going to drink my coffee But over the here. thing is, is Keep that my gay mouth to myself. she's just doing a photo shoot with an old typewriter. Like she's working on looking hot. And that is great Look, to me. I love hot Madonna. You're trying real hard. No, I, I love it. But at the same time, uh, it's really not her fault. It's the tabloids that oh, are saying girl. she's working on her movie now. Girl, I know. She's she was a hot working mess. on some hair extensions. She is overdoing the filters. That is Miss Madonna to a T. Yeah. If only we could look we like her. that. Well, we can, honey. It just takes a lot of time on Instagram. <laughs> I don't think I can. <laughs> I can't ever achieve Madonna hotness, even with filters. But that's okay, because I'm here to inform. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why don't you tell us how you really feel? <laughs> and I will mention another story out there. Richard Simmons' brother spoke to Entertainment Tonight. It's a real big show. Yes, it is. And uh, I didn't. Show, excuse me. Um, it's a real good show. You know, he talked about how much he wanted, uh, Richard wanted a musical to happen based on his life, really to inspire people again to look inward and draw strength from their inner self and make a better life for themselves. And it's just a very positive yeah. um, thing. Of Documentary course. apparently is in the works. Yeah. So we are excited to see that as well. Come on now. It's great. Okay, Mike, do you have any blind items? I do. Let's get the show started today with some blind items. Let's start it off with this one here. Now that the Emmy noms are official and the season is released, it's time for this A-list TV and movie actor to return to his regularly scheduled relationship, the one with this foreign-born B-list singer. Yep. Okay, there's a lot of Emmy nominations out mm -hmm. there. I mean, let's, let's go, through go through all the, through the I mean, list. Okay, so my favorite show right now is The Crown. Okay. And that's not on anymore. So it's probably not The Crown, Dawn. Okay. I love Gilded The Gilded Age. Age. Is this Morgan Spector? God, he's hot. I, nobody even knows. Well, that's Mr. That? Russell. Oh, okay. Oh, he's basically like Morgan Spector's the Vanderbilt. actor. Morgan Spector's the, the actor. His character is Mr. Mr. Russell. Oh, okay. And he's super How many super episodes hot. of that show? Well, I am on the second season and I have four episodes left. So like nine episodes per season, you can catch up. And I think you're going to love it. No, I know I will once yeah. I actually watch it. Because yeah, it's I Julian know. Fellows. I love Downton Abbey. It is, Abbey. yes. And, and um, um, what was the movie he did? Um, The Downton do Abbey movie? movie? No. I mean, yes, but the no. Two? Before that. Oh. oh. Didn't he do a film? Maybe, but it's not him. Oh. Okay. Morgan Spector is married to Rebecca Hall. That's interesting. I didn't oh. know that. Oh. Okay. I just watched oh. The Gift recently, which is a fantastic oh. movie. Is he in The Gift? I'm no, getting... Rebecca Hall is. Rebecca I'm Hall. catching a whiff of something. <laughs> you what guys going to do the blind item or not? Do you we smell? are. What? Do you... Wait. What do you oh, smell? What's that smell? It smells pretty good. Caps Blue beef? Ribbon? It smells like a beef beef sandwich. Maybe? Beef. Beef. Oh, beef. Oh, Ali Wong. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> Okay, answer the blind item, please. It's the bear! The bear, Dan. The, the bear. bear. The bear, And we're Dan. talking, of course, about none other than our boyfriend, Jeremy Allen White. He Cutie doesn't pie. know. Cutie pie. Cutie pie. Yes. And Rosalia. Yeah, he Rosalia. does know he's uh, apparently her boyfriend because they're back together now. Funny how that works. After the Emmy noms are official and the season is released, all of those other um, rumor relationships, you know, the... Well, that makes me kind of sad because remember there was like a little action between between uh, the stars of the show. Oh, Ayo Debris, right. of course, yeah. and uh, and Jeremy Allen White. But again, as we said, when it was happening, when you're putting on the PDA while you're on the big screen of a Chicago Cubs game, it's probably being arranged. It's a publication. It's a yeah, publication. So now he's back up. to his regularly scheduled publication. As the show. blind item states, yes. Or maybe they're just really good friends and like he likes to Dawn. rub her back. Dawn. Like we you do to me. Are Remember? Friends listen to Endless okay, Love in the Dark. All, I never <laughs> rubbed your back. <laughs> Number two. Um, Just like a pat. You know, like, a, oh, it'll be okay. I did do that that one time. Yeah. When you were thrown up. <laughs> oh, my God. After that party. <laughs> she 
got real hammered. Uh-huh. This was back in the 90s. So there you go. You guys got the Thank first blind you. item. I'm very, very proud of that effort. Nicely done. Yeah. <laughs> we tried really hard. Any other Emmy shows you want to mention before we uh, move on to the next? What yeah. we do in the shadows. There you Only go. Only murders in the building. Oh, Are you kidding me? Yep, yep. God, that show is so good. And Abbott Elementary. Oh, so much good. A lot of good. Let's see if we'll get some more good in the blind items. We'll find out with this one here. They were always a long shot, but this a minus list musician can kiss the dream of playing the most watched gig of the year. Goodbye. After their most recent performance, I can only imagine the pearl clutching from those who run the organization. Oh, I am all kinds of so, confused. Yeah, that- I'll read it again. They're, they were always a long shot, but this A minus list musician can kiss the dream of playing the most watched gig of the year goodbye after their most recent performance. I can only imagine the pearl clutching from those who run the organization. Somebody got real nasty. Oh, I oh, think I know. Do you think says? you know? I was going to make a joke yeah. out of it, but now I think actually that might be the correct answer. What was the joke? Is it that young lady who um, had real that nasty. real bad Star Spangled Banner performance? No, it was not. Oh. Is this? Are we talking about the Super Bowl performance? Okay, at least we know we're there. Yeah. So let me read this again. They were always a long shot, but the dream mm. of this A minus list musician to play the Super Bowl has been, or they can kiss that dream goodbye after their most recent performance. I can only imagine the pearl clutching for those who run the organization. Lenny Kravitz, because they're afraid his crotch will fall out again. Uh, <laughs> very close, <laughs> but wrong. Who's close to Lenny Kravitz? And I just say close from the standpoint of it's very much what you just said. Oh, because oh, they, they're they had afraid a of body parts falling out. Can it? Oh. Yeah, because they're so minus, nasty. A minus list uh, musician right now. Musician. And I would argue A list musician. I mean, up there, but. Is it a lady? I don't recent... want to see her crotch. It wasn't the crotch during the recent performance that was the issue. Did oh, I was going to say Fergie because she Peter Pan uh, once on oh. stage. This Who was a it? recent performance. Okay. Not Fergie Peter Who's... Pants. Okay. <laughs> Um, was it a boob that flopped out? No, it didn't flop out. <laughs> flopped in? It, b- it, was... it bounced out. It careened out like a... You guys know sometimes there's those clubs. boomerang. Sometimes there's those clubs you go to, and sometimes you wear t-shirts that are a certain color. Wet. And when it rains, oh! it pours, if you know what I'm saying. It was a hot t-shirt contest. Yeah. It was a see-through. Bianca... I mean... <laughs> You know, that, that A-list list musician, Bianca Sensori, who's going to perform the Super Bowl. <laughs> we don't know if she has other talents other than architecture. Uh, this person actually had a dream of playing the Super Bowl. And let me say on the long list of those who are up for it, she was in the top 15. So this is actually a performer that was in the conversation from an odd standpoint to play the Super Bowl. Oh, oh gosh. Is someone on, is boobs? she someone that's on tour? <laughs> She, I think she was going to bring her boobs. Yes. Um. I, yes, she is on tour right now. She's on tour. Which is why she but had a I recent don't performance. This wet t-shirt contest. And you weren't on social media, or at least not on the same social um, media I was on well, this past weekend. Nicki Minaj that tells me our algorithms are a little <laughs> Probably off. Slightly different. <laughs> uh, not Nicki Minaj, but you're in the right like, ballpark. Uh, Megan Thee Stallion. Uh, very close. Very close. A rapper. Uh huh. Okay. Cardi B. Hmm. Uh, Oh, he's like moving his mouth like E. Is it Ingrid Michelson? Ingrid (laughs) Michelson and her babies. Nope. Uh, Oh, no. How well you know this individual's music, but you definitely know the name. Oh, so it's definitely. They're pretty hot, Meow. Right, Meow. Doja Doja Cat. Cat. Doja Cat's sassy. She is sassy. Super sassy pants. And if you saw her last performance, uh, you saw all of Doja Cat. Uh, There were uh, always going to be a long shot for Doja Cat to play the Super Bowl, but that dream uh, just died after her most recent performance. I can only imagine the pearl clutching that those who run the organization were doing. Of course, talking about the uh, billionaires that run the NFL. Mm -hmm. Usually they're a little... um, We can't look at all them things. This is a family program. And uh, yeah, if you don't know what the blind item is referencing there was a concert that she performed in the rain and again i'm sure it's her normal wardrobe that she wears during say. her shows she's supposed to do go oh uh, i'm so sorry i'm so modest i, I must leave the stage now and put so on i shall on. cover my bosom exactly so uh she didn't do that she continued performing and wow. again the powers that be in the nfl probably are like mm, we're probably gonna avoid that okay fine 
of all the things that one. How about worry someone's about in this musical world, talent? You know, let it not be. That would nipples. be nice to consider, sure. Especially when we want to talk about what those billionaires do on their time off. Yeah, Robert like Kraft. <gasps> That's right. <clears throat> Yeah. It's another blind item. Mm -hmm. Let's move it along to this hey. one. The same week, this former A list musician announces that they're ready to move past the allegations and lawsuits. A new woman comes forward with another allegation. This is not a, con a coincidence. There are no shortage in abused parties, and the rocker is far from putting this behind them. A oh, rocker. And I gave you a little extra context there for the second Thank part. Thank you. We've got, uh, in the same week, this former A-list rocker announces that they are ready to move past allegations and lawsuits. Mm. A new woman comes forward with more. This is not a coincidence. There is no shortage in abused parties, and the rocker is far from putting this behind them. Oh, okay. So, kind so of we a got a skeezy blind. rocker. Mm -hmm. Skeezy, skeezy rocker. Uh, is it an old skeezy rocker? Um, like Stephen Tyler? Not that old. Okay. <laughs> All right, because he's a, uh, he's an old he's skeezy rocker. But are we talking ball. about like um generation younger than? Than okay. That, than that rocker. Okay. And they thought they were going to put something behind them, like all this balderall. Yeah, we've heard a lot around this individual, and uh, they've even gone to trial for some of these issues. Oh, some have been dismissed; others are still being fought. Chris Brown, uh, and a oh, rocker, rocker, and uh, apparently this individual says, "I'm ready to move past this all." And then two days later, well, yeah. another woman comes out and says, uh, "I've got even more." Not so stories. Hmm. And again, the blind item is implying that there is no shortage in abuse parties from this rocker, and that they are very. Uh, of long ways away from putting it behind them. Ozzy? Nope. Okay. Oh my God. Has he been accused of things? I mean, he's been around for so long. Okay, what about... But again, a generation younger than okay, that Ozzy, Okay, so Steven you put Tyler, Ozzy so... with Stephen Tyler. Well, okay. I mean, they're about the yeah. same age, aren't they? I think. I don't know. I think Stephen Tyler's about 117. Stephen Tyler's 76. Oh, hard living. And Ozzy is 75. Okay. All right. So let's get to the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. Somebody a little so younger. Let's go about 20 years younger. Rocker? Oh, Adam Levine. Of course not. Uh, oh. Nope. That was oh, a good oh, guess. Oh, what about mm -hmm. Marilyn Manson? Oh, good answer. Oh. You got there uh, the same week that Marilyn Manson announces uh, that he's ready to move past these allegations and lawsuits. A new woman comes forward with even more. That's no coincidence. There are no shortage and abuse parties around the rocker, and he is far, far, far from putting this. I love the idea that someone who's been credibly accused of all sorts of shenanigans would then come to the point where they're like, I wish to move past this now. Yeah. I don't <laughs> yeah, that's think always that's the move. how like, it works. We should just be positive and forget uh, about all of it. It's yeah. like, yeah, but you're yeah. the one that did the thing. If there's actual allegedly. victims, one imagines they're not ready to move forward until you're held accountable, sir. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's gross, but there you go. All right. You guys well, got there. I'm just glad people come forward when they feel mm -hmm. like, you know, that horrible things have happened to them, that they don't stay silent. It's a real risk and it takes a lot of courage to do that. Now let's get them justice. Absolutely. That's right. Roll on with another blind item here. You guys are doing fantastic today. Still going strong after a year? Question mark. Is that what you call it? When this A minus list mostly TV actress and an A minus list award winning TV and movie actor only show up in public when one of the two of them have a project to promote? Sounds like a loving relationship I mean, or publicationship. Obviously. Uh, still going strong after a year? Is that what you call it when the only time we see this A-list list mostly TV actress and A-list list award winning TV and movie actor only show up in public when they have something to promote? Hmm. Okay, an actor and an actress, TV movies mostly, mm -hmm. some stuff. Okay. It's not Ben and Jen. It is not Ben and Jen. Because they oh, have I love their ice together. cream. Oh, Ben and Jenny. Ben and Jenny's. <laughs> I like the cookie dough. Mm hmm. Hmm. That would be smart. they've just okay so they've just been married a year no marriage oh, oh, oh just together together okay but again the oh, blind item calling into right. question have we talked about them being together yep but it's you been have a, the answer in your purse Don? it's been a minute i'm oh. looking for my list <laughs> uh oh she doesn't have her list Come on. there's one page that's missing is this it <gasps> might it be on is. that page this is the big page Ooh. My okay God. 
Mm. You've got any uh, mm, mm, A minus mm. list, mostly TV actresses and an A minus list TV slash movie actor who've been together in the last year. But, but we only saw them to recently. Promote things. Have we seen them recently promoting said thing? Which is kind of well, no, I mean, we've seen very recently, like that's why this is a blind. But prior to that, it has been mm. a minute, which again is just leaning into the relationship the and nature. A, mostly of this. TV. They are, yep. She, or they're both mostly TV. Okay. Oh, they, oh, they are. Look at you being all careful with your words. So it's a same sex <laughs> couple. Nope. Oh, I thought you were being crafty or something. I'm being crafty because uh, they use they crafty. them pronouns. Oh, 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 obviously. Okay, so they uh, are a TV, mostly TV A minus list. Mostly Whoa. TV, A minus list. But definitely done some movies as well. Mostly. And we've got a uh, A minus list award winning TV and movie actor. And I would say uh, the award winning part is both TV and movie for said actor. Mm. Oh, and this you've is tough. Already discussed I... the show that this individual was in. Is it an Emmy nominated show? Uh huh. I don't know about this current Emmys. I don't. I didn't see the list. Oh, Abbott Elementary, The Crown. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. Who's the that? Crown? Elizabeth Vanessa Debicki? Kirby. Not Elizabeth Debicki, but Emma Corrin. There you go. Oh, and of oh, course, oh. Emma Corrin is with. I don't remember. Cutie pie. That shows you all you need to know about the fact that they don't show up often, except oh, when they're promoting something. That. Emma Corrin, of course, has something to promote, but we'll get to that in a second after you tell me who the mostly TV or the uh, A minus list award winning TV and movie actor is. Are they on The Crown too? Nope. Okay. Okay. Are they on another Emmy nominated show? Not currently, but they won an Emmy for a different show that has since ended. Game of Thrones. No. You're not going to get it like that. Okay. It's oh. a deep, it's a deep down deep the track. Deep one. cut. Mm -hmm. are but they they've also than... won six feet under. They've also won the biggest award on the movie side as well. Whoa. Oh, oh. Uh, oh no. Okay, so that ah, would this is fun. probably be the actor known as Hugh McCracken. Uh, Hugh McCracken is not the correct answer. <laughs> Mm. This actor's Oscar win came for playing a real life individual. Taryn Edgerton. You are extremely close with that guess. Ooh. Rami Malik. Oh, ding, ding, God, ding, ding. Filling oh. in the blinds here. Yes, it uh, still going strong after a year, question mark. That's what the headlines are all saying. Is that what you call it when Emma Corrin and Rami Malik only show up in public when the two of them have something to promote? That sounds like a loving relationship or like we call it around here, a publationship. Yeah. They have been seen in public Which... having a long stroll together. And of course, she is, or excuse me, they are, uh, Emma is... Uh, going to be in Deadpool and Wolverine. Mm, I yeah, see. so just you guys, it took us that long to get the blind item. I feel like they're not doing their publicationship any good. Probably not. Because literally it took us forever. Yeah. Meaning the idea of them together is not in people's heads. Yeah, it's definitely not. I feel like we talked about that maybe a thousand years ago four months ago or something it, yes so i believe the two of them uh recent i mean it started about a year ago mm. and then they popped up for like a month and there was like a you know tennis match they were together at then there was this that they were together at whatever the case was and then i think it's been since january since we've seen them together and okay. now they're back together the week before deadpool gets released gotcha yeah well that's a good publicist didn't stop jeremy allen white well that's true yeah. You guys got there nicely done. Took a second, but you made it. I'm proud we of you. Did it. Yay! We did it. Let's do another one here. <laughs> Maybe roll through a couple more. We'll see if we got time. The next big announcement from this A-lister will have nothing to do with the marriage. Instead, it will be the long-anticipated news of a Vegas residency. It's going to be for a far lower number than was originally reported, though, thanks to the awful past year professionally. Mm. Yep. Jennifer Lopez. Yep. The next oh, big announcement God. we're going to get from J-Lo is that of a I Vegas residency. 
Uh, but it's going to be the uh, long anticipated news of this residency will be far lower than the number that was originally reported. Thanks to an awful past year professionally. We heard numbers like a million bucks a show for 90 dates um, not too long ago, like Good four Lord. or five months ago. Like, Something tells like, me that's not happening. So, yeah, I don't know how many years that was going to be, but it was basically like, I think, a $90 million deal at MGM Grand. We'll see uh, what the new numbers are. But uh, according to the blind items, they are not going to be that lucrative. Thanks to oh. this is me now or whatever. This yeah. is me. And it's really not anymore. Right it's now. not her now. It's true. Because that's what going bye bye. What is she, though? Yeah, what is she? She's going to have to write a new album. Like, Where am this I? is me, <laughs> um, hopefully today, <laughs> but not yesterday. Come see me in my new show. I think this is me. <laughs> I would, Jim Grant. Look, to be fair, I would go see J-Lo in Vegas if I were in Vegas. So No. Oh. Oh. I mean, they can get pretty pricey. The Vegas shows, I'm going to spend my money on something else. Okay, well, you can go sit at the craps table with Mike. Uh, and I'll go see the show. Maybe I'll go see somebody better. David Copperfield? Mm, no. Yeah. Didn't Not think David. So. <laughs> didn't think so. I will just say that kind of captive audience and that destination location is probably what she needs, though. A smaller venue, captive audience yeah. that get to plan out when they're going to go there. Plus, if you, the, the the type of shows, I mean, Christina had a ton of success there recently. It's a lot of people that are kind of in that same well, generation. She appeals of to a Vegas J-Lo. audience. Exactly. Right? Yes. Because a Vegas audience is just everyone. Yeah. The lowest common denominator. <laughs> and she kind of <laughs> does. Mike, who By loves the way, my, Vegas. My, my, my flight leaves in two days. So, yes, thank you. Tell <laughs> me more about how in the lowest common denominator. No, I mean, no, we're, we all are Vegas when we go. I'm just saying, like, you know, because, like, how many times are you at a concert and you're like, why are these people here? Yeah. Well, we got free tickets from our casino. Mm-hmm. David Copperfield is still performing? Of course. Oh, yeah. I thought he had a lot of allegations come up against him. Dawn. Yep. Like, you're so correct on both accounts. That, that it was like, this is not, not true. Okay. And poof, he can't even make his career disappear. I appreciate your wish for a better world. Okay. <laughs> I was just perusing some of the current Vegas shows, and yeah. Well, Blue Man Group is still playing. <laughs> yeah. Everybody loves a good Blue Man Group. Nikki Glazer and uh, David Spade got a show. Oh, that's fantastic. That Beatles show is probably still that's, at the Mirage. Which no, it's is not. The Hard Rock. Is the it Mirage gone? closed yesterday. The, today. <gasps> it really? 11 a.m. this morning, the Mirage shut its doors for the final time. Oh, oh my God. It'll be rebranded as oh. Hard Rock. Uh, Are they uh, keeping the volcano? No. So the volcano is going to turn into a gigantic new wing of the casino. And it's going to be a massive building that looks like a guitar. And then yeah. it's going to oh. have lights that shoot out to be like the, the strings of the guitar okay. that are going to shoot into the sky, which, which is pretty BA if you look at the renderings. Okay. That, that is pretty awesome. I will say they've already got those big guitars in other places, but this yeah. one will probably be. Well, I mean, this is actually choice. going to have rooms. This is a yeah. bit uh, like... Well, it's, no, you can stay in the guitar in... Oh, uh, you can? In, um, where is it? Hollywood. Oh, gotcha. Florida. I was thinking of yeah, like yeah. the old school uh, hard rock in Vegas where it was just like a yeah. guitar. No, no, no. The the one in Hollywood, Remember, Florida, which is next to Fort Lauderdale. You can stay in the guitar. I, I almost positive. I could be wrong. Remember, honey, I blew up the kids when yeah. the, the little kid yeah. goes and takes the guitar from the hard rock and starts playing it. Yeah. That's a great movie. It is Isn't great. It? <laughs> you guys remember that time when. Uh, yeah. remember, remember that remember, one time? That was remember awesome. Remember that time when I went to Vegas and oh. saw a booby show? That was great. You, you should go it. to a booby show sometime in Vegas. Doja Cat? <laughs> yeah. Is she okay. performing? <laughs> I'm sure. It's uh, just one of those high-quality pasties shows. They're mm, very talented. High-quality pasties shows. You don't yeah, want low-quality pasties. I would much I mean, prefer I'm not a talking about a strip pasty club. Pasty or, a, you know, those are one thing. I'm saying this is these are real dancers, beautiful costumes. <sighs> Dear anyway, listeners, we don't have time. show was brought viewers. to you by High Quality Pasties. We don't have time for your pasty show, but we do have time to solve juicy bits of gossip with the names left out. It's called Blinded by the Item. We're a radio show on my talk, a podcast, wherever you get your podcasts, and a YouTube channel, which you should like and subscribe and tell all your friends about. Blinded by the Item. Blinded by the Item. <laughs> Blinded by the item. 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 Item.